come home. <laughs> Welcome to um, our new home. Guys, this is the second time I'm seeing this place and my, my energy. I don't, I don't think I can contain my excitement. So I thought I wanted to give you a empty apartment tour and just giving you a little bit of my first reaction vision of like what my interior vision is. So this is the uh, Shinbaljang area, like where you come in and you take off your shoes in the old house. We only had the equivalent of like these three ones, right? So now we have these three wow. and we have four. Oh, sorry, Steph, that's your okay. We no have problem. four more. There is like so much space for our shoes and I'm so excited to have mine like separated with Jake's. When you uh, enter into the home, one thing that I really love about this place is that it's so disconnected from the rest of the house in a sense like in my old house you can see our entry door from certain areas of the living room right but here you come in to our very stone stony entranceway so follow me will ya and welcome to the house <laughs> so um let's just start from one end to another we can start with the bathroom since that is the closest to the door this is the guest bathroom and then the only bathroom with a bathtub. Like having a bathtub in the previous apartment was the first time I had a bathtub in years. So I'm actually really happy that we have that again because I kind of fell in love with it. And we have much more like storage space than in the previous house. So the um, last apartment for comparison was 24 pyong, which is what you measure apartment sizes in here. This one is 34, so it's like a good deal bigger, but you can probably already notice that the layout is quite similar, because again, apartment complexes in Korea are just quite similar in general. So let's move on into this room. <laughs> GTFO because this is Cecil Town right here. Like this looks identical to what's in our old clothing room. It's the same apartment complex brand as well. So a lot of things are similar. Um, this wall, if you have an eye for detail, you might be able to notice that this gray is a much warmer gray than what we have in our current office. Our current office is also gray on the wall, but it is very cool tone. So it almost looks blue. What I love about this is that it's much more warm and it doesn't look cool because I love decorating warmly, right? And just having that with me. But since there is a bit of uh, just scratches in here, I kind of want to ask the landlady if we can change the wallpaper. I mean, she's going to say yes to that, but um, I kind of want to change it to maybe then even a different color. Like, <laughs> take a wild guess what I'm planning on. Green! Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure about that though, but it's a little dream of mine. But this is okay. Like a lot of the times in Korean apartments, I'm just worried about the um, the wallpapers because they're always sparkly and have a weird pattern of some sort. And yeah, it's just, yeah. But I love the big windows. It's a very cloudy day today. So the sunlight isn't at its full glory, but you can still see like sun comes in because we're south facing guys. Woohoo! Let's move on out and I will show you the star of the show, aka the living room. So, the living room. Ta da! You have seen this uh, in the video where we found the place. It's a good, I think, at least meter and a half on each way, bigger than what we have now. I'm just so excited! The frames here, the window frames, they're brown instead of gray. And the old house was dark gray, so that kind of made the window look a tiny bit smaller, right? But these are beige, so it just feels much more open. I kind of wanted to um, perhaps have the furniture floating out in the space a little bit more, just so that like it's not pushed up against the wall. Because I think it would be nice to have like some conversation pit here, like maybe like the white cabinet that we have here and then have the sofa out here and 
some other little chairs around and I just think that would look very cute. As I mentioned in my previous video, this is like quite a bit of like a change for us. It's much bigger, it has a more hefty price tag on it, which is a little bit anxiety inducing once in a while. And for that, I have just highly valued talking with a professional about that. I think seeking out someone or even a therapist can be incredibly helpful with this. So I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform and an app helping you connect with licensed therapists that can help you with your unique situation in your life. I've personally just gained so much from realizing that therapy isn't just for people who have something quote unquote wrong or something that they need to work through, but rather just also using it as a tool to grow to where you want to be in life. When you get started on BetterHelp, you fill out a detailed questionnaire to help you assess your specific needs. And then in most cases, you get paired up with a therapist within 48 hours. You can also specify whether you want a male or a female therapist or which religious preference that they have or if they're spiritual in any way and etc. I really love that. It makes you have something instantly in common with your therapist, which just, you know, makes you able to relax a little bit because there's something you already know about the person. When you've been matched, you can easily and conveniently set up a texting situation or a FaceTiming situation or whatever that you feel the most comfortable with. Remember that therapy is for you. So BetterHelp allows you to really proceed in any way that you feel the best in. Therapy is also such a personal experience. So I really like that BetterHelp allows you to change therapists for free if you don't feel like for whatever reason that the current is a good match for you. Over 4 million people, including myself, have used and liked BetterHelp. So if you're intrigued, I really highly recommend that you click the link below or go to www.betterhelp slash Cecil. With this link, you can get 10% off for your first month with BetterHelp. I highly recommend it. Now let's get back to the house tour. This is the kitchen area and the dining area. We've already bought a table which um, Stephanie and I was just doing some measuring. You can both put it like this way, but you can also put it this way. I think we're gonna have to see what we like the best there and what works the best on Saturday. And here, if you come a little closer, if you see up here, this light fixture is like quite small, meaning that we could replace it without like having to drill new holes or without other holes showing. So in our old house, it had like a long, light fixture to the to the um, roof, meaning we couldn't really change it to what we wanted to change it in, but now we can change it. So I kind of want, obviously we're gonna save this because we need to put it back up and move out. But I'm thinking like a paper lamp, it's gonna look really cute with our like wooden table. I'm so excited. Here we have kimchi fridge, another kimchi fridge down there. I think this is meant to be for rice cookers and microwaves, but because the, all of this is visible from the living room and such, I don't want any appliances here, if you know what I mean, just because it's gonna look not good. I want it to look aesthetic this way, and then appliances can go into this dark, already dark corner. One thing that I noticed immediately was that the kitchen counter is taller now than it is in our old house. Our old house is maybe around here, like a good couple of centimeters short, but it has always made me like kind of crooked back. <laughs> So this is perfect heights and it's gas, which is annoying, but this is really the only annoying thing about this house so I can live with it. Brown colored, I really like it. You know, I don't really have any interior visions in here other than because we don't have a kitchen island, I was thinking here wait, to have like a kitchen island. Like you can buy those things from Ikea, right? Mm -hmm. um, and have a little coffee, like coffee situation like a little coffee stand. Jake and I have been dreaming about having a proper coffee machine. And out here we have the, so this door we can obviously close. This is the setak, setak shin, which is a um, laundry room. So laundry stuff, we have some storage, the boiler is here and there. And then out here we have the fire escape, but then also they call this a trash room. So you can like, um, sort all the trash out here, which is really convenient because it's not fun to have out in the open, right? Yeah. Um, let's start in this room in here, which is going to be first round, it's going to be Jake's man cave slash office. Second round, it's going to be baby room. <laughs> this is like the 
smallest of the three rooms because this is three room, two bath apartment. Um, but it's perfect size for what it needs to be used for. When there is a baby situation coming, I was thinking like maybe a crib and where you're standing in the corner now, like a little like rocking chair. I want some like bookcases filled with toys and books and like we have lots of storage in here as well. Just three closets. Oh, this is so like so nice. And again, guys, like look. I love the color of the doors. I love it. I love that they're like a soft wood and it's not orange wood. It's like good quality. But then you can see the wallpaper here. This is the only room that has a bit more funky wallpaper, but this is in by no mean like bad. This is actually quite decent. So Steffi and I were just talking about it and I think we're just gonna keep it maybe. Or um, whenever a baby comes around, I kind of want to include lots of funky colors because the last thing I want to be is a sad beige mom. You might have thought I would be a sad beige mom. I, I saw your comments, guys. <laughs> and Stevie also said the same thing, and I am thoroughly offended. Um, I'll be a sad green mom. Yeah. Let's move into the bedroom. <laughs> Coming into the bedroom is also much more spacious than our old bedroom is, actually, which is really nice. The main difference is, as I mentioned in the other video, the closed closet space. <laughs> I have enjoyed having a walk-in room as a closet, but I'm ready to mature. Um, so what we have now is lots of open space, which is really good because I've really grown like fond of having my clothes hung. It just keeps it straight. Pooh, I hate the smell of these like... <sighs> I, <laughs> I hate the moth the things. It's, it's those like to, to, to like for, to make it smell good. Ah, uh, the and, artificial and scent. Artificial scent is my worst enemy. Oh, I hate that. Um, anyways, <laughs> we have drawers as well, which is perfect for underwear, socks, um, gym clothes. And this in here, like there's a little thing in there. I think you can put stuff to like, to the show because here you can turn on the mic. That's and probably then... where your designer bags will go. Oh, right. But this is just too small, like I can't really display anything here. <laughs> wow, this is actually good! Here bags can go, right? Down there. And there's okay. more... Wow, actually the storage situation here is really nice. Guys, this is only my second time here, so I'm also being shocked. Perfect for dresses! And our handbook can hang here too. Before we go in there, let me just show you something out here. I'm not the biggest fan of these stripes. So I was actually looking online because you can't, it's not something you can peel off. That's how the glass looks, right? And I was looking online that you can stick these um, like stickers on that has a different glass design. So I was thinking about little square tiles. So it's just one big sticker you can put on, but that will give some vibe because if you have it closed, you can't look out either way. So I just thought maybe that'll be nice. Anyways, let's see. But this is a veranda. It is bigger than what our old veranda is, which I don't really care about because I honestly don't like verandas and you guys know that very well, but we're just gonna this time around fully utilize it as storage, as well as in here, which is another, this air conditioning thing, but we can put some storage things out there too, like put the suitcases and such. And then this, same as in our old, we can dry clothes out here. Yeah, nice and big window this time around for the bed uh, bedroom. I can already see now, even in like a sort of cloudy day, that it is much brighter in the bedroom than it is in our current house, which, well, old house, I suppose, which I really like. So yeah, let's continue in. This is our master ensuite. Isn't it called an ensuite? Like a bathroom that's connected to the bedroom. I think it's, it's just called a master suite. bathroom, but now they, they bathroom. say they call it something else now. Yeah. Oh, this is actually quite nice. This is a sliding door, which is good. You can close it off. Because in here, guys, look at this. I'm going to have my own pantry situation where I can like sit and do my makeup. There's lots of storage for, yeah, jewelry, makeup. I'm going to put my little um, chair out here. All of the stuff. And here as well, this is quite cool. Like it has little hangers in here for jewelry, I guess. It's quite fancy. And then we go into the um, master bathroom. This is just 
nice and spacious. I have told Jake that it is spacious enough for two. And he did not get the hint. <laughs> Uh, this is the hidden gem of the house, I think. Well, it's Jake's hidden gem. So if you come in here, you can see a little walk-in closet. It's actually bigger than what it looks on camera, I think. Like, it is pretty spacious, so Jake is gonna have all his stuff here. Yeah, really nice. And drawers and everything. It's just, it's just exactly everything you need and more, which I'm very excited and thankful for. Yeah, so that is our new home. I can't believe that we're moving in here. Today's Tuesday, we're moving in on Friday, so it is very soon. And it's a little bit dirty, but we have cleaners coming Thursday, so everything is just exactly as it's supposed to be. And I count my blessings. I cannot believe we are able to live like this. I'm just so thankful. And thank you guys as well for watching and following this journey. Now, what is coming next is the official moving vlog and then it's time to get started with decorating. I'm so excited. <laughs> Stay tuned guys and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.